TriMet is reported to have some of the highest health care costs in the transit industry. We asked Neil how this will affect future labor negotiations. Are employees receiving real-world benefits commensurate with the cost? And will health care reform have an impact? First of all, to the um, over a period of time, TriMet's union and management have negotiated a package of, of you know, wage, salary, pension benefits that um, taken a whole were quite rich, I think everyone would say, on the health care side, less rich on the wage and pension side. So if you sort of look at the balance, the union, I think, would tell you that that was a balance that we purposefully went for. Our board <clears throat> has recently adopted a policy that said this, the direction going forward should be that our health care costs need to rise no more than our underlying revenue growth. So if our payroll tax, for example, raises 7% a year, then that, that should be the limit, if you will. Obviously, that's not been the case over the last few years for TriMet's program as well as anybody else's. So it, clearly we are seeking some, um, some changes in that uh, in the midst of negotiations with the ATU right now. But I think it's important for people to realize that there really is a balance um, between wages, pensions, and health, and, um, and they are all related to a bottom line. Are you aware of how health care reform may have any impact on? Uh, I don't believe that there'll be any significant I impact. Actually, the short-term impact is actually will increase costs to try and many other employers because of the requirement to um, allow the add-in of um, older um, children in, in a household. So, for example, I think the new age cutoff will be 26 or so. And so our, that will cost us probably a couple hundred thousand a year to be able to offer that benefit to our employees. Otherwise, I think um, we don't see dramatic changes as a result of health, because actually we provide, I think, very good health, obviously very good health care. I might also note that um, I, I think it was my predecessor who coined the term, this is not a race to the bottom. We're not interested in providing rock bottom um, health care to any of our employees. They need, they need and deserve better. Um, but we, we do think that, that some adjustment is in order at this stage of the game. TriMet operates Lyft, a service for those who need more assistance than fixed route transit can provide. Many of Lyft's services are required by the Americans with Disabilities Act, but Lyft is expensive to provide at over $28 per ride. We asked Neil, as the population ages, how does TriMet plan to address mobility and access for all those who need it in a fiscally sustainable manner? Well, that's an excellent question, and um, it's actually, we're now in, of course, the um, new TriMet um, Lift Eligibility Office, and so there's really a, a number of strategies that the agency's uh, taken on, and we probably will need more by the time we're done. Um, but one is to make sure that those who apply for Lift benefits are, <coughs> are actually eligible for them and meet those physical eligibility requirements, and that's what this, um, this uh, center will do. Uh, in a very, I think, respectful way and in providing personal interviews and other things that will help um, make sure that the right people are getting the service because you're right, it's a very expensive service. Second of all, I think we have to figure out how to mainstream into our regular fixed route service uh, people who are otherwise eligible for Lyft. So one of the functions of the center is also to help educate uh, potential Lyft users because our view is that people will find those fixed routes much more um, uh, usable, much more friendly to their mobility requirements than Lyft, which requires a, uh, a sort of scheduling window for the trips around it. Another piece of that, we've actually commissioned a study some time ago that was really related to housing. And what, one of the things we found is senior disabled housing developers at one point in time were going for the cheapest land in the region. Well, that was out away from centers or major arterials where we have good service. So <clears throat> one of the things we need to do as a region, I believe, is begin to focus on the land use connection between housing for seniors and people with disabilities and transit so that that ability to use the fixed route service is, is um, enhanced. Well, that actually leads in nicely to the next question. Uh, Metro and other planners have made projections which depend on rates of economic growth and population growth. If these projections fail to materialize or if people leave the region due to sustained high unemployment, how does that change TriMet's strategy going forward? 
Well, I don't think there's anything that's immediately in the ballpark that would change about that, but I do think that um, this, obviously the pace of expansion would have to be affected. I have to say, though, that I'm very bullish on Portland's future. <clears throat> you know, I came here in 1980, and as soon as I came here, there was a major economic downturn in this region. And um, it took us a long time to recover, but all of the incredible um, job generating businesses and, and wealth and this wonderful downtown that we're in the midst of right now, all really came to life since 1980. So I know that, I guess I'm long, talking like somebody's long on the tooth here, but I know that there are these dips and valleys um, in any region's future, but, uh, or any sort of current situation, but I still think the future is very bright. And actually this time, um, the last stats I saw actually showed that even though we have um, a very high unemployment rate, it's actually higher in California, a uh, little bit lower in Washington. So it's not as if we're um, being singled out here quite the way we have in some other past recessions that have affected us. This is regarding the fare system. Uh, the TriMet zone fare system has received much criticism. TriMet recently scaled back Fairless Square to the free rail zone and at the time promised to open a discussion on the fare system in general. Along with that, you've mentioned that TriMet has uh, responded to set criticisms about its ticket machines. How soon will TriMet move on reevaluating the fare system and what technologies and policies would you like to see? Well, that's a, that is a really hard question, but I, I'd have to tell you that I, I do generally agree that the system needs to be reevaluated in a longer view, longer term view. And one of the challenges I think we've got is what's the next technology out there, and how do you catch it and not be a wave behind? Closest to us is the uh, Orca card that was developed, a smart card for the Puget Sound area. And, um, you know, it's been very effective. I think they can do distance-based fares um, that are not necessarily purely zone-related. Um, you could do the same thing in many subway systems around the nation. We've got a really unique system in terms of its integration, you know, bus, streetcar, uh, light rail, uh, the WES, um, even to some extent the tram. So um, how, we, how we get all that to work together, uh, I, I don't really know. I do know that the, 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 the zone system is probably a little, um, certainly needs some major changes in the future uh, uh, because as crosstown trips become more frequent in the system, the zone system becomes not equitable compared to a radial trip of the same length. So we, I think we've got to look into that in the long term. Um, and again, I think one of the big questions we're going to face is what's the right technology? And these things, are, these are very big investments, so that's the other thing to be very cautious about. And this is one where I'd love another system to perhaps be the bleeding edge and then we can be the cutting edge. Um, but in the years ahead, I know we'll be looking at that and I know there'll be a lot of opportunity for people to offer their opinions on that.